What's going on guys? Doing more work to the Miata. Little bro got his uh, clutch, his flywheel, the rear main seal, that extra sensor for the reverse, whatever, for the reverse light. Just got the rear main seal in. He, he videoed a little bit while I was at work. Right now we're getting the flywheel back on. <sighs> Get up in there. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna throw the bolts in real quick. Show you guys the torque specs. Get that down and then uh, let's get this clutch on and try to get this transmission in hopefully we can get it back on the ground by tonight all right guys today is install day and what we have here is the oil pan gaskets with the provided black rtv silicone we have the rear main bearing retainer itself this is what the rear main will sit into and then when you get the rear main you get this little gasket so that's why you have to pull off this because it basically sits just like that with this bigger gasket sitting right there so you guys get the gist we got thread locker some gasket sealant we uh, also got a new clutch so we went with the stage 3 action clutch 6 puck um, holds up to around says around four something horsepower but i don't believe it we'll test it when the turbo gets here and then here is <laughs> nice and red it's got a nice graphite finish to it i don't know if you guys can see that very well it comes with the kit the tool itself Here's the tool to align your clutch so you do not have a hard time uh, putting in that transmission because trust me, you guys do not want to deal with that. Here we have the throwout bearing. That's what it's called. So yeah, so this little guy slips onto here. Those little forks. We'll show you more once we get it all unboxed. We also got a uh, Amazon special short shifter. All right, so before we jump into this, I just want to really show you guys this incredible flywheel. It's a Fendanza Performance 8 pound lightweight flywheel. It came in very great packaging. Um, what I really like about this is that you can change out the piece that gets rubbed off the most, you know? So like, say if you go for a new clutch, instead of buying a whole new flywheel because it's got a bunch of heat spots like my old one did, then I can just get this, which is probably $100, $150 off from buying the whole flywheel. So this will save me a bunch, and yeah, so let's get to head and getting this all assembled. First thing you're going to need is a lot of gear oil. When you're assembling this, you want to assemble everything with lube. Let's uh, get these 10 millimeters off real quick, and we'll go ahead and jump into that. Alright, and once you get those three bolts off, you can just literally lift this straight out. Now, be careful, I'd have a rag underneath you because yours is gonna have a lot of oil inside that turret and this is just gonna be dripping. So, set that on the rag. And inside of here, while you're doing this, it's best to just go ahead and change the gear oil since you're already in here. And uh, I recommend getting the Lucas 75 weight 90. You get yourself a, a soap pump. Unscrew the lid, jam it right inside of there, and then once you start squeezing this, it'll start sucking up oil. And you just have this right here, and you can just squeeze it into there, you know. Once you get all the oil out, and you're ready to start assembling. So we have all of our old bolts with our old shifter. Just go ahead and toss that aside. So what I'm using is just like an old spray can for to fill up the oil. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I literally haven't touched this. It just came in the mail like this. That's rust. This is why you don't buy stuff from Amazon. <laughs> Go ahead and drop that in some oil. This goes right there. Same thing, a little bit of oil. Should just clip right on. 
these rings right here they literally just pull out you they have like this little uh nipple that's coming out and you just grab the plastic and there's a metal ring underneath you can just grab both at the same time and just yank it out like that and you're gonna come with a new one so it doesn't really matter this piece right here will be included in the kit this will slide right in there there we go just slides right in you just kind of make sure it's pressed all the way down the new plastic piece and your metal little retainer there's little pins that line up in there and they just kind of snap into place all right and the metal washer goes faces down plastic up should just sit in there it will be a little bit more up but that's okay because you have this little spacer which is going to be sitting just like that so we're going to go ahead and install this little spacer it sits right there and lines up with the three holes and then we're going to go ahead and throw on this spacer and line up that plastic piece with the ball And you have that little nipple going into the plastic piece. But I have a lock washer and then a regular washer underneath it, like that. All three. So. Now that's tight enough. It is time to put on that rear main and the oil pan gasket and start slapping this all together. All right, so now we are underneath the car and we have the rear main seal off. A lot of RTV on here. If you can see this, you can literally just peel it right off. We went ahead and cleaned off everything. Alright, now that we threw a little bit of RTV in there, stuck that little bad boy on. The gasket right here, right behind it. And slide this on. All right, and to move on to the rear main seal, we're gonna go ahead and put some oil on our fingers. So you're gonna make sure that this little back piece right here, this open part, is gonna be facing towards the inside of the engine. Alrighty, so we got that seal in. So what you wanna do is to seat the seal in is, you wanna get it all the way to the point where the seal is right right making like perfect contact with that lip maybe even that lip just a little bit over like a, a hair you know and that's perfect that's exactly what you want right there applying a little bead of loctite that's a little <laughs> yeah there you go get the rest on real quick and uh let's see what happens Torque spec. What's the torque spec? One solid unit, brother. Uh, One solid unit, brother. <laughs> so before with the the stock flywheel, we're looking at it, and when it was bolted up, it has this lip on it, right? You can see it. So it has this lip from the gears coming out all the way around. So this sits on the motor itself or on the uh, the crank or so I don't know on the on the rear main seal, right? I think. Yeah. And um, this lip is still in here. So on this new aftermarket flywheel, I was looking at it, and there's no lip. So like, when you're looking at it, you can see a gap, and I was kind of tripping out, thinking maybe it's not supposed to be like that but it's tight. And so hopefully it's on there right. If you guys know better, let us know. We're gonna keep going with this. All right, lime it tools in. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you cross throw it, it gets a better seal. I heard that too. Yeah. Whose cookie is that? I'm gonna eat it. Cookie bread. Back in five. <laughs> <laughs> All 
What's the torque spec? Torque spec. Yeah, let's get some torque readings. All right, brother. Is it in the spline? What is this, planking? Or, yeah, the planks or something, that, that pump you get in your arms? Man. All right, I got all the bolts on the transmission nice and tight. Just throwing them in there. About to get that, that whole bracket that mounts to the transmission and the diff on real quick. All the bolts are in there, all nice and good. We're about to connect the speed sensor, all the electrical and whatnot. Uh, put the drive shaft back in and hopefully it works. It's probably gonna be dark by the time it gets all slapped in there. So, I mean, honestly, if you guys wanna know like how to put that all back together, it's in the previous video. But yeah, we're gonna sell it back together. Transmission's in. We got all the sensor, the speed sensor, all the wires hooked up back there. Got the exhaust on just right now. Got this bracket that bolts to the uh, transmission. Back to the diff. Got that all bolted up. Everything's nice and snug. All we gotta do is literally just tighten those two bolts that connect the headers and the exhaust. Or three bolts, yeah, three bolts and we'll be good. All right guys, car is off the jack stands, ready to rip. Just got the transmission in. Little bro took it on a ride just cause he was too anxious. He couldn't wait for me to get off work. But cars on the ground ready to rip. The mirror's looking prime. We're, he's got new ones. He's got new ones. Everything new, right? Yeah, we're gonna take this thing for a rip. See how the clutch is handling and see if everything works. Well he already knows it works. He already drove it. But I wanna see. Your stereo, your stereo works now? Oh yeah. Reverse light works. Reverse light works, but you don't get a stereo? No Bluetooth? No stereo. No signal detected from rear camera. So it's the same exact thing. Same exact display. Press home? Yeah. Press all the buttons. Touch screen? Yeah. No grinding noises. <laughs> stop, come on, please stop. Let off your brake. Oh, we're going backwards a little bit. All right, put it in first gear. Clutch in to the car. All the way in. See that? Your clutch is adjusted too much. Too much? So when you're pressing in the clutch, you press it in so much that that throwout bearing is pushing it in and it's pushing it in and it's pressing onto the clutch plate itself. So that's why it stalled because it, it caught. So you need to adjust it like way out now. Because it's a brand new clutch, brand new throwout bearing and it's a different clutch, it's not stock. So how hard that grows? Yeah. It shoots up in RPMs a lot faster with that 8 pound flywheel. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> 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 yeah, 
Eddie, there you go. Alright guys, first drive, for me at least. Clutch definitely needs to be adjusted out, which really isn't that hard. Just a couple bolts, just back it out to allow more free play, so like when the clutch engages. But car's running good, it's not grinding or anything. You know, like honestly, if we started driving and start hearing some crazy grinding from the clutch, obviously that wouldn't be good, but we did everything right, hopefully. It's looking pretty clean for now, as clean as it can get from the sweet, uh, sweet mirror and the sweet paint job. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe, we'll catch you later.